Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Mole Trap here, and I am coming at you with Diggity alongside as well. Yes, that's right. We've finally been able to reconcile our schedules a little bit. Do a dual commentary on the OSL semifinals. It seems like the season has gone by so quickly that we're already to the semifinals. It will be mere weeks before the finals happen. Uh, and uh, it's, it's getting very, very down to the wire. There's just the top few good players left. Some awesome players are left in the semifinals now. It is Flash versus Pure is the semifinals we're going to be casting today. And uh, looking forward to an exciting matchup. Yeah, I'm glad to see that we have Pure here. He's able to break through. I honestly haven't been able to, to pay as much attention to the Korean leagues with all the StarCraft 2 happening. I'm sure that's the same for a lot of people out there. You guys are the die-hard hardcore fans. Still paying attention to the Korean leagues. I appreciate it. <laughs> but... But even so, he's going up against Flash, and I have seen a few games of Flash, and Flash is still Flash, and he is still playing like a maniac, destroying everyone. He really feels like, I don't know, it's like he's broken the code on Terran or something like that. And yeah, honestly, I think if Pure's going to win the games, he's going to have to bring something super creative, and oh man, I don't know, it just seems like... It's almost a foregone conclusion that Flash will go to the finals, but it, but uh, nevertheless, hopefully we'll see at least some interesting cheese from Pure. <laughs> Flash is the one on the left making weird faces, like he was gargling some Picari sweat or something like that. And Pure is on the right. And yeah, Pure, I'm really excited uh, to see him uh, coming out and doing well in the individual leagues. He's been um, you know, real big for We Made Fox for the Pro League for a while, kind of off and on. Uh, he was a little inconsistent for a while, but lately he's been he's been very very good, and uh, so I'm excited to see him actually going far and getting to the semifinals of a star league as well. You know, oftentimes you have these players that are just really really good players, but they just can't quite seem to make it in the individual leagues and get their own fame. Um, so it's nice to see Pure doing that. But yeah, um, so it probably took someone you know less than a week when when Brood War came out to beat the uh, the single player campaign, and uh, here it is. 11 years later, Flash has finally beaten the multiplayer as well. Um, I don't expect Pure to be able to beat him. He may take a game because <laughs> Pure has been playing that well. He's been playing really well. And Flash's only vulnerability tends to be against Protoss. But um, I don't know. We will see. And this is the map, by the way, Great Barrier Reef. Which, if you're like Diggity and you haven't been watching StarCraft this season, it's exactly the same as El Nino on a different tile set. You have a natural expansion, and there's like some minerals you can mine out, and there's more expansions around the outside. But they're a little bit easier to get to than they were on Outsider, although it's a similar map to that. Um, but anyway, so we got Flash building up uh, supply here. And uh, we've, we've seen some interesting games out of him lately. Um, we saw him play in his... Um, I guess it's okay to talk about his uh, MSL game. So if you if you don't want the MSL game spoiled, then then you know go la 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 and stick your fingers no. in your ears for a while. Um, but uh, he actually he, he's plays he's been playing standard almost every single game this whole season, and then against MVP he just did cheese and like totally screwed with his head. So uh, maybe we'll see something interesting out of Flash again. And Pure looks to be building up for a 12 Nexus build. We don't see a gateway yet. He is probably going for a very fast econ build, hoping to catch Flash, uh, just get lucky and have Flash not scout him first. Um, Flash has gone for a Rax Refinery, though, so he is going to be in a position to put down a quick factory and uh, get some vultures and put some pressure on. There's the Nexus going down now. Yeah, really, I, I have to agree with this play from Pure. It's really difficult to beat Flash heads up. This is one of those maps where you can really put pressure on off two bases and it's really difficult for Protoss to secure the third so usually if you're going to win the game you're going to do it through a dominant mid-game play where you get some sort of major position over the Terran there so I like the rush of going out getting a big advantage early getting a big economic advantage early and then just I, I assume the strategy from this point on is to either go heavy infantry or just do something to kind of crush um, to follow it up I think if he goes for the Arbiter play uh, yeah you'll get map position but again he'd have to seal flash into his base so I don't like that so I think the best option for him is to, yeah, just go crazy. Unfortunately for Flash, only one SCV on gas. Looks like he's going to go for an expansion as well. I'm kind of curious if uh, maybe once he scouts this, if he'll try to do a quick, uh, usually you'll see Marine rushes with the bunker alongside. What I'd really like to see him do is maybe go for some Vulture drops or something along that line. I almost feel like a, a fantasy type build would be fantastic on this map, although usually you'll see that versus Zerg. But basically some sort of drop with some Vultures into the main to really create some harassment. Uh, just try to slow his economy down while he just makes sure he doesn't 
doesn't get sealed in, because as long as he makes sure he doesn't get sealed in and pushes out slowly with, the, slowly with those vultures and tanks, he'll eventually be able to pop out of his base, he'll be able to get the advantage, looks like he's scouting right now. And he should be able to take the game from that point on because he is Flash. Already two Marines running forward and oh. a probe! Wow, never mind, four SCVs coming off the line! So, and the probe actually right there to scout it. There's only going to be a single Zealot. Let's see if he's going to be able to hold this pressure back. This is definitely going to hurt Flash's economy. Because keep in mind, he's already behind economically. On top of this, he's got to inflict some sort of damage. Bunker being built, two probes coming off the line to try to hurt that SCV, try to keep that bunker from going up. Those four SCVs to follow should be able to get that planted. But really, with that shield battery, with just the two zealots, will they be able to? Will they be able to hold up against this huge onslaught? Yeah, he's got a lot of SCVs coming in here, Marines to follow up, and now he was able to get that. He was going one factory in the command center, so he did have that factory. So vultures are now going to be out as well. I'm curious to see if he's got a machine shop down or anything like that. He's trying to put the pressure on here. The zealots getting stopped up. Um, now probes in the mix as well. He's got to kill those Marines though with the probes, but he actually runs the probes back and tries to just use the zealots to kill off those Marines. Kills off one. The zealot trying to run back to that. Um, the shield battery is able to charge his shields up before the Marines kill him off, but the bunker is still going. He's still got one SCV left um, building the bunker and one attacking that, that um, Zealot. Now he's moving here. Just probes left. The Dragoon coming down the ramp just in time, and the last SCV goes down. The bunker will not go up, and that Dragoon is going to be able to polish off the rest of the forces, so nicely defended by Pure. However... There's no probes left. He 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 used a lot of probes up defending that um, to soak up marine hits and, and that kind of thing, and probably more than he really needed to even. So he is not doing very well. He's uh, he's not going to be able to make use of his expansion that he went for the fast expansion because he lost so many probes. I mean, he's only got four probes mining, and his main isn't even very saturated. So. Um, He's just—he's gonna be able to make use of it going on. He's gonna start building up probes faster, but Flash is gonna be able to catch up, getting his own expansion in the wake of, of that attack. And Pure is gonna have to play defense for a while. Yeah, that was amazing by Flash. Able to go in, take out a lot of probes, follow that up, deny pressure because you've only got a single dragoon that should actually be staying back. Considering there's okay, looks like there's one back in the main just in case some vultures are trying to sneak by. And this is really all that damage is really, really, really going to delay Pure and any sort of thoughts he might have had about early pressure in the mid game. And Flash, in the meantime just about is even with supply in a matchup where Protoss usually wants to stay at least 20 supply ahead. And now some Vultures already moving out the field. Alt Flash did enough damage there where he can actually sit back, just kind of build his economy, get some of those upgrades, go with whatever his game plan is to follow. Actually keeping one SCV on gas to, it looks like, go a little bit more Vulture heavy and produce um, some of, I, I assume, go for more of a Vulture heavy attack to follow. Uh, maybe just build more SCVs, saving uh, some more, uh, basically going for more minerals than gas to follow. I, again, just keeping the mineral heavy troops here. A couple of Dragoons running in, not quite able to stop that Vulture from sneaking through. The Vulture able to sneak around that back edge. Looks like it's able to get one probe kill and Flash, despite uh, honestly being in a position where he didn't need to uh, harass and attack, still able to go in, still able to keep the pressure on, still able to keep pure thinking, I've got to stay back. <clears throat> yeah, I think he got actually two probe kills, so uh, those Vultures were definitely worth it. And this is what I was thinking he was doing. I'm actually kind of surprised that he's doing this, but he figures that pure is just going into... into <laughs> no pun intended, into pure defense mode after losing that many probes. He's going to have to just stay back and try and build up his economy. So Flash used that knowledge and that advantage to get a third expansion down really quickly. And pure going for another expansion as, as well. I mean, Flash, that's how he beats people these days, especially in, like, TVT, actually, is just by expanding all the time. He just doesn't stop expanding. And uh, people are actually getting wise to it and expanding as well almost as much. So we see Pure uh, showing a little bit of an example of that here. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, Flash, very interesting. He's only at one factory. He's actually a little bit vulnerable. It's, it's probably a good thing for him that Pure didn't go for some kind of a counterattack, although it would have been all in because of the economy being so damaged. Um, but yeah, very, very... I got to hand it to Pure, though. I wanted to go back and say that I really, really was impressed by that. He had one gateway. He had one gateway, and he, he fended off uh, a rush with several SCVs and some Marines and a Vultures. Um, just with one gateway and a battery, of course. So uh, that was that was pretty impressive, to be honest, that he actually survived and kept his Nexus. Because if he'd lost that Nexus, then he really would have been screwed. Um, that would have been game, yeah. Yeah, that would have been game. So at least he's still in it. <clears throat> 
I really like the psychology of, fra uh, of, fresh, of Flash, uh, by the way, it, just following this up, throwing those two vultures in to make sure that Pyrrha's like, oh crap, I gotta stay back because, you know, those vultures might be attacking, and immediately going for the expansion, and it looks like a, uh, just psychology, making sure that Pyrrha is kind of in a mindset where he has to stay back. Probe being dropped off to build another expansion just on the corner, perhaps, I, I can't imagine we're going to see proxy tech here, but uh, just dropping alongside that upper right hand corner, the engineering bay already there for Flash to spot it, unbelievable, and now Flash with the three bases is just going to be able to build a ton of troops, he's just going to have a really nice economy, swinging back to get that robotic facility, I think between the turret coverage, uh, between the tanks though, Flash is just going to be fine, he's actually got a supply lead at this stage, and this is where Pure wanted to be before, kind of, I think, the original game plan would be attacking into Flash, and instead he's trying to play economic catch-up. Wow, this is really unlucky for, um, for, for um, Pure. I think he was going to try and set up a, and actually, it would be a very brilliant location for uh, a hidden expansion. Flash wouldn't expect it to be there. And I don't think he did expect it to be there. I think he floated his eBay up there to check for um, proxy tech and shuttles flying in from that direction. And it was just a happenstance that he floated right over that probe, I, I believe. I could be wrong, obviously. Oh, pure, pure, pure taking some hits from mines around here. Looks like he's going to set up his expansion in a place that's harder. Um, <clears throat> well, it's... Uh, yet... Flash doesn't isn't going to know it's there immediately, although he probably suspects because of the things dying over there. But it's going to be easier for him to defend as well. And he's actually running in with two Reavers. Double Scarab on that tank. Takes several hits from the other tank, though, and he's going to have to fly through turret fires. The second turret going to get up and get a shot off. Yes, the second turret gets a shot off, but no. Still 25 hit points left on that um, shuttle. He's going to be able to drop those Reavers out, and they're going to be able to pick off those turrets just for a moment until he gets another tank in siege mode there. But um, very risky maneuver there by Pure, actually dropping out those Reavers in the midst of those tanks. Did manage to pick off one at least, though. Wow. I guess he figured he needed to do some damage with those Reavers, or he was they were just not going to be worth it. Um, look at this. Flash already on top of it, though, already with some Goliaths out um, to stop any shuttles from doing harassment. Pure getting his fourth base, though, and he's been able to build up decent probe saturation in all three of his bases. So um, they're doing about even. Pure actually has gotten a little bit ahead in supply um, by about 15, so he's doing well in that regard, but um, Flash has a dominant position right now, and he's about to take a fourth base as well, so Flash keeping up in bases with Pure. I gotta say that was some amazing anticipation by Flash. Uh, first of all, deny, seeing, uh, just anticipating that speed shuttles would be coming out late, and that's a huge investment to get no probe kills for. So keep that in mind. Second, looks like another shuttle out. Um, but on top of that, you saw him move the tanks and some reinforcements to the 6 o'clock position by just seeing a, uh, an observer there. He had no clue, aside from my, just that observer being in the area, that the, the shuttles were going to be heading that direction. He had those additional siege tanks, those additional vultures, <coughs> to stop that two-weaver attack, which really just kept him in this. It, well, if he, had, if he had not had those reinforcements there, those turrets would have been down. You would have seen a ton of probe slaughtering. That would have been a big momentum shift for Pure. Instead, able to stop that short, Pure is now, I assume, at a loss. It looks like he is catching up economically, and i got to commend him for that. He's actually uh, crawling his way back into this. I'm kind of waiting for Flash to get a good mass of troops and apply some counter pressure. Right now, he's, yeah, i got the five factories getting a control tower and a science facility to deal with. Uh, I think he's going to expect Arbiter Tech at this stage. I think he's actually going to be facing more of, a, or honestly, a Reaver shuttle composition at the moment. Pure playing a little bit offhand. I, I feel like he needs, he feels like, oh, okay, i got to keep that investment uh, worthwhile. But Flash is playing at an incredible level. Yeah, uh, yeah, I gotta, he, he really is. He's, he's really on top of his game right now, and uh, it's really amazing to see him basically anticipating everything. Um, most of it intentional, I think, as well. Um, Pure now coming in with that shuttle again. There's some turrets just ready to pick that shuttle off if he runs in. If he makes that mistake, he's going to lose that shuttle. He may be able to get some kills with that reaver, but I think he'd be better off keeping it around and using those uh, those reavers in a, in a large fight. But yeah, Pure saw that fourth expansion coming out for um, Flash and planted down a fifth of his own. He's now, I think, preparing for a sixth in the top left-hand corner. He's going to go in with two shuttles. He's going to go in two shuttles. He's positioning the one with more hit points in front. It looks like, yes, he's going in now. He's driving his shuttles into the main. The vultures turn around to try and come back for this. He drops a bunch of zealots out of one shuttle and actually runs away with the others. He's decided not to... Um, 
try and risk those Reavers, and instead he's going to bring the Reavers back, and he's, oh, that's what's going on in the top left corner. He's getting, he's doing a switch to uh, probably Carrier Tech, I think, uh, since a couple Stargates going down up there. He could be re uh, Arbiters as well. But uh, we haven't seen any Templar out or anything like that, which would be an indication that Arbiters were on the way. Look at this. Flash just macro than like a fiend, though, has caught up to Pure, um, nullified that supply deficit, and is now a few supply ahead as well. But if he loses a bunch of SCVs here, then it might even things back up again. The shuttle going in there. Two Reavers are going to drop out right in the midst of that supply line. Flash a little slow and almost lucks out by getting his SCVs away, but the bunch of SCVs explode. Seven kills on that Reaver. The Vultures come in, three kills on the other Reaver, and the sh Shuttle's able to pick up one of those Reavers before it dies. I'm surprised he didn't pick up both of them, though, especially with no um, Goliaths around. And there's the Fleet Beacon and the second core going up. So we are going to see a switch to carriers, five base carriers here coming from Pure. And um, he's going to have to try and catch Flash off guard, which is something that very few humans have uh, have done and lived to tell the tale. So I, I'm not sure if this is a, a good move or not. He's got to make some kind of a tech switch. So um, Arbiters, I, I don't know. I, I have to say I think Arbiters would have been a better choice on this map. But um, we'll see how this turns out. Flash already with a few Goliaths in the mix. Um, even before those carriers are up. So he's not going to get com caught completely off guard one way or another. Um, and now Flash putting the pressure on. He's moving out with a large army trying to uh, take out some of those expansions. Yeah, it looks like Flash catching him right in the middle of this tech switch. I was, ho I was thinking, well, if Pierre can just hold off for a little bit of time here, then he'll be able to get the carriers off, then he'll be able to basically seize control, but right now all he has is Dragoons and Zealots completely exposed, no cloak ever had overhead, trying to plant a couple cannons to try to provide some additional defense. It's not going to happen. Zealot's speed doesn't even look like it's upgraded. He's just got that shuttle speed. A high Templar dropping, but immediately get taken out. Another nice uh, storm over those uh, those tanks and slow zealots able to run up and get in proximity with those tanks. Just not enough mines, not enough vultures along that flank. Too many going to the north. It looks like uh, they are going to be able to clear out that 12 o'clock location but despite this, I almost wonder if this might just be a slight win for Pure even if he loses these two bases because there will be the carriers up in the air. That Well, maybe not actually. I thought he already had the carrier uh, fleet up but it looks like he decided to build a third Stargate and was a little bit delayed in building that so I take back everything I said right there. Pure now going to get completely run over, and it doesn't look like he has anything left to try to defend any of this. Yeah, this is this is just harsh. He, he, he was able to get a couple storms off there, but I can't believe he didn't even have Zealot speed at that point. Car First carrier is finally out now, but he's going to lose both of his top bases. He's probably about to mine out his main. He's probably getting close to his natural, so those were important bases for him right there, especially with Flash at four bases right now. Um, Flash is not going to mine out. He needs to do some damage back, basically. He still has that Reaver in the shuttle actually sitting behind Flash's natural expansion. Uh, that hasn't gone away. Flash never actually killed that, so that's kind of interesting. He could go and harass with that. He may have forgotten, though. Flash is now, however, pushing into Pure's natural expansion. He's not even going to let him uh, go for the long game. He's not going to let those carriers come out. He's coming in and uh, just trying to pick off everything all at once, just going in for the kill before those carriers come out. The carriers are out, but he still does have a few Goliaths there. I think those four Goliaths, they are Charon Booster upgraded, so he was expecting the carriers, and those four Goliaths are going to be more than enough to beat off these carriers with only a few interceptors between the both of them. Um, it looks like Pure is going to go down here. Yeah, he's down to basically not mining at this point. Um, and, oh yeah, now he's definitely not mining as the vultures pick off the rest. We're going to see GG any moment now. But, um, well paid by Pure. There's the GG. Um, you know, I gotta say I'm still proud of him for coming back from that early game there, saving his Nexus, and almost getting back into it economically, but Flash decided to make a, a, a looked like possibly, I didn't check their upgrades, but maybe an upgrade timing push right as the tech switch was going on. It's just perfect storm for, for against Pure. <clears throat> it's hard when you're going up against a cyborg, you know? <laughs> that it is. That it is. Well, let's see if uh, Pure will be terminated once again in uh, game two. See you guys then.